Yeah, I'm the one that got the scene banging. What's up guys, it's your girl Shalfees back with another YouTube video. If you're not already subscribed to your girl's channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and follow your girl for more. If you are into lifestyle, travel, and real estate, then I am your girl. Let's jump into the video. Please do not forget, if you want to follow me on all of my social media, they will be linked in the description box. Without no further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay. <sighs> what is different what is different it's probably because i cut my hair so i ended up chopping my hair off two weeks ago i cut it all off my hair was about out to here mm, i'll post a picture of like a recent afro photo with dates so you guys can see and i'm just gonna try to insert it on here but um Long story short, I ended up cutting all my hair off about two weeks ago when I took my braids out. I don't know if you guys remember when I was like on my video, I said when I take these braids out, nine times out of ten, I'm going to cut all my hair off. And that's exactly what we did. Um, so let's jump into why we cut all our hair off. So back in 2020, I ended up around literally around the same time, late in August, I ended up cutting all my relaxer off and I had a little bit of like this much of hair that was left on my head and I'll answer the picture so you guys can get it, kind of get an idea but I ended up just like cutting all my hair off cutting all the relaxer off because I wanted to go natural and my hair started thriving I will insert photos so you guys can see my hair was thriving my hair was doing really well Back in that time in 2020 when I first cut it off, I wasn't really using any products on my hair. The only products I was using was the Camilla Rose Honey and the um, Curling um, Smooth, I believe it's called. I'll insert pictures of those. And I wasn't oiling my scalp. I wasn't doing anything besides those two products. So all I'll do is literally get in the shower. As I'm taking a shower, I'll wet my hair. And then when I get out the shower, the first thing that I'll do is apply the product so my hair can dry. Because my hair takes a little bit longer to dry. Because it's really, really on the thicker side. So I'll let that kind of like dry down as I'm like lotioning up my body. Getting ready for me to get out of my house. So that was my routine. And then throughout that, I would also indulge in wearing wigs and because i had like a little fro kind of like similar to what i have now i'll literally just throw the cap on and wear the wig for about a couple of days take it off and go with the same routine that was my routine for a while now back in 2021 i got introduced to um i started using like shea moisture um, I was using their products for a little bit and my hair never has an issue using new products. My hair always kind of like thrive on whatever I feel like doing to it. It just thrives. So I never really had an issue per se of like my hair having any type of problems. Um, it was just random how, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just random how my hair my hair literally just thrive on whatever product I put in it. It never had an issue. So I started to use like shea moisture a little bit and my hair was doing fine on that. And then I ended up like starting to use um, Main's Choice. Um, I started using their products a little bit and my hair was thriving off of that. But mostly my hair really, really loved the Camille Rose product and I was like, I was, I was stuck with that. But when it came to like shampoos and deep conditioner, I was using Shea Moisture. My hair was doing fine. 20, now we pushed to 2022. I moved from Florida to New Jersey and um, I was using the pattern. Um, brand I use whenever I get invested in using a, a new like line I use their entire line I'm talking from like the curling pattern the 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 I was using everything including their combs and that's what I did and when I was using the pattern my hair was thriving off of that and my hair was doing great like I'm not even I'm not even over exaggerating my hair was doing great and then I got introduced to um this was in 2022 so like a little bit over 2022 like 2023 ish i started to kind of like indulged in um 
I knew like everyone was using the rosemary product from my yell and I was like oh okay I didn't jump on the bandwagon right, right away as oil what I was using was wild growth mixed with Jamaican castor oil my hair was growing like a chia pet using just those two oils on my hair and I'll only apply the oils when I would like braid my hair back for me to do a wig install or when I braided my hair into knotless braids and again I was going back and forth between leaving my hair out doing knotless braids braiding it back and putting on a wig I was just going between the three throughout times right um when I made the switch to using the Mayel products was like late 2023 is when everything changed. Keep in mind, my hair was looking beautiful. My curls were thriving. My hair was growing. The only thing I will say, though, I was not getting a trim like I should. Like I did my own trim, so I would trim my hair like every now and then. So I had like a little bit of split ends. So... In 2023, I decided, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to cut all this dead weight off. So I did. I cut, like, a good two to three inches off of my hair, and my hair still was full. It was still long. It was still thick. My hair was beautiful. Um, around late 2023, I made the switch to start using a new oil because I ran out of the oil. So I was like, oh, let me try something new. Everybody's, like, on this bandwagon of rosemary from my yell. Let me just use it. So I ended up... Mm -hmm. this is her I ended up using this oil so I ended up using that oil as like my everyday oil right and then to make it even better I was like oh since I'm using the oil why not use something else so I started using the curl smooth pomegranate and honey I wasn't only using this I was also using the shampoo and conditioner which I ended up finishing because I don't have it anymore but this is her I was using these products and I was like washing my hair. The pomegranate, I had the, um, the, the conditioner that I had. I, I was using the conditioner as a deep conditioner to deep condition my hair. When I would take the products out, I was like, something is off. Sorry. I was like, hmm. Something is off with my hair. My hair started to feel kind of like rough. And so I was like, oh, maybe it's because my hair is dry. And I started experiencing like light dandruff. Now keep in mind, I'm not someone who experienced dandruff. And I started experiencing like light dandruff, like where like I would have like little patches. And I'm like, hmm, that's weird. I've never used to have that before. Didn't pay attention to it. And I continued to just go with the flow, right? And when it really started getting serious was this year, 2024. Again, I was going between wearing wigs, braiding my hair back, knotless braids, and leaving my hair out. Well, 2024 starts, and my hair looks so bad that I couldn't leave my hair out. Like, I'm talking like my curls were gone. My hair looked like I applied a relaxer and left it in too long. And now my hair is just shedding and just breaking like nothing. I've never had that before. So I was like, oh, wow, like my hair, my scalp is super dry. And I'm like, maybe I'm not using too much enough oil. So I started to use more oil. Now I'm going to go back to late 2023 when I ran out of that shampoo and conditioner I decided to use, um, I went to Virginia for a couple of weeks. And when I was in Virginia, I went to a hair store and I came across the Design Essentials. I remember I did a video on TikTok where I was like, oh, I went back to my true and true products. Because again, my hair was acting so terrible that I was just like, this is not my hair. This is not how my hair used to be. This is kind of getting scary. And so... I went back to my old and true products, which was Design Essentials. I ended up getting like a regular size bottle of shampoo and conditioner, and I started to use that to wash my hair. The damage was already done, but for whatever reason, I started, I noticed like the difference in my hair when I would wash it with that. But again, my hair was so bad that I didn't want to leave it out. So I'll just braid it back, put it into, put on a wig or braid it into braids. 
And when this year began was when it got like even worse. I was washing my hair. My hair was coming out in clumps. No over exaggeration. My hair was coming out in like balls that were like this big. And I'm like, okay, I know your hair is supposed to shed and all, but this is a little over doing it i'm talking i would wash my hair and i would run my fingers through my hair and my hair would be coming out from the roots and i'm like okay interesting right i remember i braided my hair into knotless braids when i was taking my hair out every time i'll take a braid out i would comb the hair out Every time I would comb the hair, I had chunks and chunks and chunks to the point where towards the end of me I'm braiding my last braids, I had like a huge ball of hair. And I'm like, okay, my hair hasn't shed. Obviously, I braided. I was making all these excuses. And so I was like, okay, you know what? When I wash it, I won't shed because it just shedded all this hair, right? I went to go wash my hair. Again, my hair was coming out from the roots. Like I literally would, would be scrubbing. And as I go to run my fingers, the hair, and I can see the, the hair bulb. So I'm like, something is wrong. And I begin to be like, okay, maybe I'm too stressed out. Because I was, I, was, I was stressed, but I was like, this is a little overboard. Like I'm like, I need to relax. I need to calm myself down because maybe I am way too stressed the hell out. And that's why this is happening. Because this didn't used to happen before. Like I'm having my hair come out in huge ball like I'm talking a lot of hair to the point where my hair started to kind of look thinner and I started to bald right here I was balding like I'm talking you can clearly see a bald spot and I'm like am I braiding my hair too tight am I pulling my hair back too much like what am I doing wrong and again during these times when I was braiding my hair I was applying this rosemary oil throughout my hair when I would braid my hair back I would do small braids going back and I would connect them and put on my cap and I would leave that for like two weeks but I would take the wig off wash the wig oil my scalp every three days oil my scalp right with the Mayel take my braids out my hair is coming out in clumps my hair I'm washing my hair my hair is just coming out of the follicle like no tomorrow so I'm like, okay, what the heck am I doing wrong? This never used to happen to me before. What am I doing wrong? So I went ahead and um, <laughs> like two months ago, um, so we're looking at like June. We're in September now, so August, July. So like we're looking at like early July. I told myself, okay, when I unbraided my hair and I was like, oh, I'm going to get braids because I was going to, I went on a trip early July um, for I went to Africa so I braided my hair for that and when I braided my hair I was like when I unbraid my hair I'm gonna see what I want to do with it so when I unbraided my hair I was like my hair looks worse like and my hair was changing colors so it wasn't the fact that not only was it shedding and it was breaking off it was also and not only was I balding I my hair changed colors my natural hair color is a dark brown my hair turned to this sandy brown color like i'm talking it was like sandy brown like i i did not even recognize my own hair and i was like this is odd like why is my hair changing colors so when i unbraided my hair i said okay i'm gonna braid my hair into small braids not even knotless just regular braids i'm gonna braid it into small braids and I'm going to see and I'm going to stop using any different, any other products. And I'm going to go back to my old and true products. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx and came across the Design Essential Oil. And I used that and I purchased that. And then I was already using the shampoo and the conditioner that I have. And I ended up just, that was, that, that, that was what I was going to do. I ended up purchasing that and then i went back to the oldest true product which was the blue magic conditioner i used to use that product on my clients about 12 years ago um when i was braiding hair to moisturize their scalp because it's a great moisturizer it's not too heavy but it's not too light it's literally right in between so i would use that 
to basically moisturize and oil and basically add grease to my scalp and I went back and I purchased that and I still have some and um, so I was like okay if I'm gonna stick to one line I'm gonna stick to that one line and just use that because then I would know if my hair starts to act up because I'm using this product I know for a fact it has to be this line it can't be if I'm using five different products from five different brands I can't dictate which product is making my hair fall off right so I was like okay I'm just gonna stop using everything altogether and I'm just gonna stick to one product so I did and so literally when we came back from the trip I brought the Mayel um, oil with me but I did not use it I did not use it at all I was just like mmm I'm, I don't know for whatever reason I wasn't using it when I was on the trip so I was like okay when I came back I put it somewhere and I don't remember where I put it so when I was looking to oil my scalp I couldn't find it so I was like oh I need new oil so when I went to TJ Maxx everything literally falls in place when I went to TJ Maxx and I saw the oil from Design Essential I was like well I'm already using the um the shampoo and conditioner let me just use the the oil as well so I purchased it so when I braided my hair recently late July like middle like er, like early around like July 10th 12th I braided my hair into small braids and I was like I'm gonna make these braids last me at least a minimum of one month to two months and when I take my hair out if it still looks the same I'm cutting it all off that was my decision so I ended up just going into um I ended up just like stop using all the products I braided my hair every two days I will oil my scalp with the design essential right once a week I will wash my hair like wash my scalp not really the braids but wash my scalp because I sweat a lot in my head and I go to the gym it, it was during the summertime so it was hot outside so I would wash my hair once a week and I would condition it and then I would just sit under my dryer and let it dry right and I did that and I had my braids in for two months so I was doing this every week and I would follow the same regimen I would oil my scalp every two days when my birthday was coming around in August I decided when I hit like the four week mark with my hair being braided I unbraided the front and I unbraided the middle when I unbraided my hair here's how I know that the design essential was not a problem was when I unbraided my hair and I was combing it I was waiting for chunks of my hair to come out and my hair shed like just regular hair was shedding it just shed a little bit and I was like okay that's weird right so I said hmm that's interesting that my hair it's interesting that it was just it was a moment where I was just like okay that's interesting that my hair is not coming out interesting but I still didn't know at that moment I didn't know what was making my hair fall out I was still convinced in my brain that it would had to be stress it had to be medication it had to be I'm not even taking medication so I don't even know why I thought any of these things right so then I braided my hair again and left my hair alone and again I was oiling my scalp I wash my hair once a week literally two weeks ago I took my braids out and when I took my braids out here's a picture I'm gonna insert the picture of when I took my hair out and what happened when I took my hair out I looked at my hair and I was like this is not my hair my hair never used to look like this the roots of my hair was so thick from here out was like this sandy brown color it looked like a brillo pad and it was just all dead ends and every time i ran my hair the end part was just shedding like no tomorrow so i was like i can tell the difference between unhealthy and the healthy so i was like it's no brainer just cut it all off so i literally stood in front of the camera smiling my behind off I cut all my hair off cut it all off after that I said literally as I was cutting my hair I was on TikTok scrolling laughing whatever right came across this video 
of this woman if I find her name I'm gonna insert her name in her page somewhere on the screen I ended up finding her page like I came across her video like she came on my algorithm I found her video um, her video found me and it was a video about that my Yale product A video about the Mayel product and the video was literally no joke this is not this is not a test this is not a lie the video was literally about this same experience that I'm going through in that moment what I was going through for the past like year and a half two years women were saying the same thing they were like my hair started like shedding. My hair was like falling off as I'm washing it. My hair was so dry. My hair was this, my hair was that. And I'm like, every symptoms that they're listing was the same thing I was experiencing. And I was like, when did I start using that product? So I go back on my pictures. I literally go back on pictures and I went back like scrolling, scrolling. And as I'm scrolling through my pictures, I was like, I can tell when I started using that product because I saw the difference in my hair by looking at the pictures. And that's when I was like, this product really fucked me up. Excuse my language. It really did. It really, really messed me up. And I was so upset. But I'm upset at myself because of the fact that Something in me never wanted to purchase that product for whatever reason and I just got lazy and I saw it at TJ. I saw it at Target and I was like, oh, no brainer. Everyone's using this. It's a it's a it's made by a black woman. No, no brainer. Right. When I found this woman's page, she literally talks about all the products that are supposed to claim that they're tar that they're for black women that are not for black women. And all of the products that you may think are for black women or created by black women that are not. When I tell you this was just, I, I got, I went into a, a, like a, like a, I went into a dive on her page and I was just like, wow. I was just shocked of how much that's on there. And I even came across women saying that using that product, they, they had cancer, like, and I'm just, I am petrified that this product did so much damage to so many, so many, so many people. I'm just, I cannot wait till it gets taken off the shelf because I got to also experience the damage that it got to do to me. So... In conclusion, I came on this camera to basically, I literally just was like, I told myself, I was like, I'm going to have to create a video because there's women out there that's probably using that product and just like, why is my hair not growing? Why is my hair falling off? And they may not have a TikTok. They may not have, and they, their only source of like any type of social media is YouTube. So I pray this video finds you and I pray that you're able to really use this video and just like understand that it's not you it's this freaking product you're not doing anything wrong it's this product so in conclusion i am throwing this product in the trash and i haven't used this product in the past two months and my hair has been look at this And here we are restarting our journey. Yeah. <laughs> I pray that this video finds you and I pray that this video helps you in some way. If you are someone that is using those products, do yourself a huge favor and go throw them in the trash. I pray sooner than later these products get taken off the shelf because they really cause a lot of damage to a lot of women. And I'm not just talking about my color skin women. I'm talking about numerous women from different ethnicities and different racial backgrounds. And so if you are someone using that product because you thought it was good for you, please go take that product and throw it in the trash. Okay, that's all I can suggest to you. 
and um yes please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel and i will see you guys on my next vlog or my next video i will see you guys very very soon do not forget to follow your girl on social media if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments and i will make sure to get back to you for sure and without no further ado i pray you guys have a lovely rest of your day or night whenever you decide to watch this video okay so ciao ciao